Hello students, in this video, we will try to find out the resultant of the given force system. And in this case, as usual, we have the forces acting in three-dimensional system. In this example, you can see that I have three forces, F1, F2 and F3 acting at B. So I can say that this is a concurrent force system. I need to find out the resultant of this forces in the vector form and the magnitude as well. So now you can see that I have force F1 acting over here from B to C and the magnitude is 25 Newtons. Force F2 is acting from B to D. The magnitude is 60 Newtons and the force acting at B is acting vertically down, that is parallel to Y axis and the magnitude is 150 Newtons. Now I need to find out the resultant acting at this point, that is B. So what I need to do is, I need to find out the position vector and then the force vector. So for that, First thing I need is the coordinates. Now, A, the coordinate for A, I can say, since it is at the origin, will be 0, 0, 0. For B, it is only along the X axis. So, Y and Z axis coordinates will be 0. So, it will be 12, 0, 0. For point C, point C is lying in the YZ plane. So X coordinate for this will be 0. Y coordinate, that is this distance, is given to me as 3 meters and the Z distance is 4 meters. So 3, 4. The D coordinate will be as usual, since the point B is lying in the YZ plane, X will be 0. So, 0, comma, Y distance is positive. So, I can write it as 4 meters over here. Whereas, the Z distance is going on the negative side as minus 6. So, now I have got the coordinates. Now, I can easily find out the force vectors. Force vector F1. I know the magnitude F. All I need to do is find the position, I mean the unit vector from B to C. I've got the force vector F1. Now I can similarly find the force vector F2. That will be the magnitude unit vector VD. I have got the force vector F2 as well. Now, to get the force vector F3, I know that this force is acting parallel to Y axis. So I can directly say that this will be, and since it is acting downwards, so the force vector will be minus 150J. So F3 is nothing but minus 150 j now all i need to do is take the resultant of this three force vectors so it is nothing but r 
F1 force vector, force vector 2 and force vector 3. So I have got the resultant as resultant vector as this. Now to find out the magnitude So, this is how I have calculated the resultant for the given force system. It was asking me to find the magnitude as well as the force in the vector form. So, I have got the resultant in the vector form and the magnitude as well. So, I hope you have understood this example. Thank you.